So whenever I get asked about jobs to be done, I always try and use an example of someone drilling a wall. So if we look at, if we compare needs and wants analysis and jobs to be done as two different methodologies. So let's say we work for Black & Decker or another drill company, JTB, um, and we're analyzing someone drilling a hole into the wall. If we follow needs and wants analysis, we'll say to the customer, you know, what, what is it you want? What are the problems with this current solution? So a customer will probably go, the drill, it's a bit messy, it gets dust everywhere. The battery life is pretty terrible. It's not quite powerful enough. People always have problems like losing drill bits and things like that. You know, I can't get the right hole for the size that I want to drill in the wall. But the issue there is, and I hate to use it because it's so cliched, but the Henry Ford thing of, you know, if I'd have asked customers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. And that's the type of stuff that you're going to get when you talk to customers in that way. You're going to find out how you take the existing solution and incrementally improve it. Um, so needs and wants analysis. Let's say for the drill, we add, I don't know, like something that sucks the dust out as the drill goes through the wall. So, you know, we make a bit of a dent in the drill market. We sell a couple of hundred new drills because people are amazed at this thing. And that's what we do. But if you look at jobs to be done, jobs to be done says that a customer hires a product to do a job for them. And you've got to deconstruct the job that someone hires that product to try and achieve. So if we look at the example of someone drilling a hole in the wall, you hire the drill, not to drill, but you hire the drill because you want a hole in the wall. So if I said to you now, okay, we're going to improve putting a hole in the wall, we don't end up with a drill that's got a better battery life and sucks dust away. We end up with something completely redefined and something completely different. You could even take the job one level up and say, people don't want to put a hole in the wall. It's pretty crappy when you've got holes all over the wall. All you want to do is hang a picture up. So actually, we look at that again and say, well, maybe we should do picture hooks that kind of like self-adhesive and stick to the walls, or maybe we should do these other things. So Jobs to Be Done really allows you to move away from reinventing a current solution and kind of making these incremental improvements to what you're doing and just look at how you completely like redefine a category um, all over. I think if you look at people like Uber, you know, Uber didn't sit there and go, how do we just incrementally improve a taxi? You know, otherwise, we just have black cabs, which are a bit cleaner. Um, and arrived on time driving around London. You know, they had to strip it back and go, no, people want to go from A to B. You know, how do we build out from that journey of going from A to B? You know, there's numerous other examples of amazing products where clearly they didn't just go, how do we incrementally improve it? Kind of the perfect example of jobs to be done for me, you could even say is the iPhone. You know, otherwise we would have had a marginally better camera, you know, a marginally better phone, a marginally better device to read on the internet. But actually, by taking a step back and looking at the jobs that people want to try and achieve, that's how they were able to completely redefine the category. Um, so that's the difference. I, I'm not discounting needs and wants analysis. For some organizations, that's absolutely the right thing to do. So if you think of an organization like Walmart or Asda, they don't want to reinvent the shopping experience. Largely, they want to incrementally improve that shopping experience to make it better for their customers versus their competitors. Whereas actually when you move into the fintech space right now, fintech is all about reinventing categories and reinventing categories. So the needs and wants analysis has its place in the product owner's toolkit. Um, but really, if you want to try and redefine something, then jobs to be done is the way to kind of deconstruct a problem.